This tunnel is sealed. Looks like Hanahar's trapped. That means Goto has the J. Ooh, it's the walrus guy. Goo 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 -joo. He's not saying anything. <laughs> Owned. Hey, he's got my lightsaber. Only I'm allowed to have that lightsaber. What? Lol. Owned. Hey. Awaken, beast. I was attacked by another Jedi. I have saved your life, beast. That makes it mine. Kneel. Why? Why you do this? Why you do this? Because there is something to be learned of strength, beast, even within your empty shell, and it will be needed in the times ahead. No, that you shall not do. You will not bring harm to the exile, and if you do, beast, I shall break you. Even your madness will not save you if you bring harm to the exile. Know this. Kill me, I cannot bear the weight of another life debt. Oh, the life debts of your people, the life debt you have twisted with your hate, I felt it within you. I shall promise you this, beast. Unlike the red-maned Huntress, as long as you are loyal, I shall never show you mercy. No pity. All it requires is that you immerse yourself in another lie. The exile, you shall be his servant until I call upon you. His? You his servant? Oh, answer. come on, game. Come on. Oh no, I have been captured by Goto. Oh, am I actually playing Zatan? We need to be bait. Pretend to be prey and let Goto take our ship, okay? Goto fades on the freighters of Vogger the Hut. Well, we know that already. We have to become one of Vogger's freighters. And he will take us in as well. Okay. Um. Why? Right, okay. Then once you are inside the ship, you devour him from within. Change how our ship smells. No, oh, it's just him being awkward. We need to go to his warehouse that's run by machines. I knew that was going to be important. I have a new droid for Voga. Okay. I accept this, I must ask you how you acquired the 
this particular droid. I see. There should be no problems then. Is that that little guy that we talked to earlier, a while ago? Oh no. Oh no. Don't, don't tell me we... We don't have to play as T3 again, do we? <laughs> oh, I thought that was over. <sighs> because it was so much fun playing as T3 at the start of the game. No, 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 no. Uh, this would better be painless. I certainly hope that rude C7 uh, unit didn't send you a great camera view. Speaking of programming, why would you program it so that that camera angle is so awful? But I cannot seem to convince my masters of the logic of the request. Uh, okay, I... Oh, I wouldn't go that far, despite what others would say. A number designation for a C7 unit means far more than an integer increase. What? Some droids undergo radical changes with each generation. Each numeric jump in sequence can have wide-ranging changes in functionality and temperament. But then, so? you are a new model yourself. I wouldn't expect you to understand how it feels. Now, was there something I could help you with? Uh, I, I guess. I've no idea what I just asked, because it just says dupe deep roop. Huh, a mask. I'm sorry, but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse. Oh great. No. Beep beep beep. In fact, beep. I do not have you on my list of Coden's acquisitions. I see. Well, I have no current use for you. I'll assign you to C6E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior... Oh, this is going to be a pain, isn't it? Oh great, some persuades, which I have no idea what it says because... If you do not wish to comply... Even when playing as T3, you don't understand yes, what he's saying. What? Surely you should be able to understand yourself. I don't. I don't understand. What? What is it with astromech droids in these games? Why can't we understand what the heck they're saying? I would be happy to help you, but as long as that C. Well, if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming. I would be willing to give you access to the next room. Okay, so we have to disable the other guy at the door. Okay. Fair enough. Straightforward. Yes, what is it? Hopefully, anyway. You can't be serious. I am not in need of deactivation. What are you talking about? Aha! Yay, it is straightforward. Let's just use our shock arm. The good old shock arm from ages ago. On Paragus, when we were killing things with his shock arm. That seems like ages ago, and of course it actually was. What's all the commotion? Oh, I see. Well, that will show him. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. I'll get that open right away. Well, dreet, dreet, beep, beep. Just a moment. You're well. Good. Now what? Another maze. It's a guy in front of some sort of terminal. Oh. Uh, can't do anything with him. Yet, anyway. A metal box. Door controls. Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh, <laughs> good. Good.
What? Oh, resets all rotations. What am I supposed to do, even? Must convert the top set of characters to match the bottom set. Oh, God, I... Oh, this is just going to be annoying, isn't it? Resets all rotations. I looked it up! Well, hey, I'm not playing your game, I'm not doing your shitty little puzzle. Just get this over with. Oh, that's wrong. I looked it up and I still got it wrong. <laughs> there we go. Good. Oh Hello. What are you doing here? I'm on of, I don't know. Aha, good. The information is sent to a remote computer system. Oh, I see. In that case, I will upload the transponder codes to you. And here's the blank transponder card you need. Oh yay, we've got a card. Now if you'll ex Well, good. We can change the Ebonhawk's ID signature now, finally. And we've got some codes. We've already got three codes, though, that we got from those pylons. No, I can't actually do anything with that. Oh! Uh, oh, no. I have to do an HK boss battle as T3. Why does this game keep doing this? Why does it keep surprising me with boss battles using only a single party member? I'm gonna have to level him up all the way, aren't I? <laughs> I was just avoiding leveling up because I didn't think there was any point in doing it. Well, there we go. Uh, let's level up T3 for ages. He has hardly any feats to choose from, even. Oh, we're done. Let's give him some good stuff. I'm sure we probably have tons of really good droid stuff that I've just ignored. He's using blasters and stuff, so dexterity's good for him. Ion blaster? We're, we're fighting droids, so that's what we need. Damage fire, okay. A deflector mark two. That one's a bit better. What weapons can he use? He's only got a mining laser. Benox blaster... Um, so Brack blaster looks good. I'll give him that. And what else? That'll do. Right. What shall we do? Plasma thrower. See what... Wow, that's really good. Wow. Use the plasma thrower. Use the plasma thrower. Wow, this just destroys them. Systems failing, master! I did take a lot of damage, but wow. That plasma thrower is good. HK chassis! <laughs> hey! We'll be able to fix HK 47.
I don't know if I'll ever actually use HK. We have... What? T3 is just humping the metal box. I don't know. HK is cool and all, but... We have more interesting party members we can use. YOLO. Hey, it's our astromech droid. I thought you got sold. Oh, this wasn't a plan or anything. I believe this. He says he's got the transponder codes that Godo's using to hijack Voga's freighters. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebonhawk's codes. From What's there, with Atten's neck? Nice What's it Godo? doing? If you're hunting Goto, you will fail. <laughs> Cray just gives him a look. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell her to Goto in the first place. Hanha has joined the party. Oh, we're here. We're gonna get these ID signatures changed. I have a transponder card, yes. Oh, those are my... Those are the ones that I got before, but I've got ID signatures from that droid. So all of that before was pointless. Getting those ID codes was pointless. Another waste of time. Great. The Evan Hawk will be intercepted by Goto's yacht. Two party members will be able to board the ship. Let's go with Mandalore and Kraya.